Hey everyone, Harold Fisher here with WHUR News and Politics 963. I have with me today Dr. Lorenzo Morris. He is a professor of political science here at Howard University. Dr. Morris, let's get right to some of the top issues of this week. Today, um, the Washington Post reported that North Korea is working on miniaturizing nuclear warheads for their intercontinental ballistic missiles. There's been a lot of saber rattling, but today is a big development. How serious should the United States take today's developments? Well, I think they should take today's developments seriously as they should have taken developments in the past, but not so solely in a military context, because the willingness and the capacity to use nuclear weapons has been widely available to a number of countries we know. So the danger comes when there's a reason within the country for engaging in those weapons. However crazy or unstable we may think Kim Jong-un to be, there still has to be some national sense of purpose and direction. What has happened is that we haven't confronted the huge diplomatic failures. We have an armistice with North Korea, not a treaty. The country sees itself in position of instability. Continual long-term instability is itself unstable. We make ourselves more vulnerable to outrage from that country by making citizens in that country more vulnerable to dictators who can appeal to their insecurities. Dictators always do well in insecurity. Well, the United Nations Security Council uh, just voted to uh, in, impose more more sanctions, right. and and even China, the uh, the only mm -hmm. uh, ally really that. Mm -hmm. uh, North Korea has voted to impose those sanctions. How big of a deal is it that China even agreed? Well, I think it's a big deal, but not an overwhelming deal because China has vacillated on previous sanctions. Perhaps more importantly, one has to consider the, the consequences of the sanctions for North Korea itself. If they accept the sanctions uh, as definitive, determinative of their policies and cease uh, experimentation with, nuclear, with uh, missiles, then what comes? They go back to their previous state. There is still a sense of insecurity, there's still a sense of vulnerability. There has to be a channel of diplomatic alliances available to them. We are so made so anxious by their behavior and so certain of the instability of Kim Jong-un that we don't look for channels within the country and maybe even within that administration of reasonable behavior. We at least have to give them a reasonable way to concede. Conceding simply by stopping something is not going to be the normal policy of any stable government. Quickly, let's talk about a big domestic issue. Uh, last week, a huge jobs report uh, came out. Uh, jobs continue to mm -hmm. grow mm -hmm. here in the United States. Uh, some also would call the Trump bump of now 22,000 on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. The president says, I'm not getting the credit for the uh, swelling economy. Should he, or is this just something that uh, was coming as a result of the previous administration? Well, I think he should get the credit for not causing the stock market to tank, but it's continuous and sustained growth is a pattern that goes well back into the years of the Obama administration. He hasn't added anything great. What he has done is promised some of them, many of the major stock market owners, which is probably 5% of the total population at best, huge profits. So they're going to benefit and take those profits as time goes along. That does nothing for the stability of the economy in the long run. So he can get credit for not messing up what Obama started and get credit for making uh, exaggerated expectations take uh, flight for a short period of time, but there is no dramatic change there, just as there's no dramatic change in the unemployment market. Okay. Dr. Lorenzo Morris, Howard University Professor of Politics, thank you so much. I appreciate thank it. You. And certainly, uh, for those of you who are interested in finding out more, make sure you stay tuned to us on all of our social media uh, platforms. That includes, of course, Facebook, Instagram, as well as Twitter, Politics963. Don't forget, stay woke. Well.